One tool we'll need in order to implement interfaces is a property method. Sometimes we want the value of an instance attribute to be linked to some other value of an instance attribute. So if I change one, the other will change two. Now, so far we don't have a great way to do that, but property methods allow us to do just that. So here's the behavior we want, and then I'll show you how to implement it. I'd like to be able to create a rational number. Remember, that's just a fraction. So 3 fifths has a float value, which is 0 0.6. So an attribute of this number should be that we can have its decimal representation, which we have there. We should also be able to change its numerator and its denominator. So here I change the numerator to 4, so it should now be 4 fifths. And if I ask for the float value, I'd like it to have changed to 0 0.8. So in this way, the numerator and the float value are linked. If I change the denominator so that I subtract 3 from what it was before, so it used to be 5, now it's 2, then the float value should be 2. 4 over 2 is the rational number. So the property decorator is a built-in aspect of Python that allows you to define a method, but then call that method just by looking it up. So what's really going on in this example is that float value is a method of the rational class. And every time we look up the float value of an instance of that class, that method gets called automatically, even though you don't see a call expression here. And that's so that our code can look like we're just looking up an attribute, but really we're computing that attribute from other attributes on the object, namely the numerator and denominator. It allows zero argument methods to be called without explicit call expression. That's the whole point of a property decorator. Let's have a look. Okay, so we want to uh, create a class, the rational number class, which takes on initialization, a uh, numerator and a denominator, which we store. Now, like any instance attribute in Python, these could be changed at any time by any call, by any attribute assignment statement anywhere in your code. Um, now, the property decorator works like this. We say there's a method called float value, which takes no arguments, that's important, and it will return self.numer divided by self.denot, meaning actually perform the division, now we won't have an exact representation of a rational number anymore, but we can combine it with addition or whatever with other objects. Now, we also call this a property. So we're done. If I create the rational number that I had before, which was 3 over 5, and I look at its numerator and its denominator, they're stored correctly. And if I compute its float value, as you can see, it's 0 0.6. Changing the numerator by adding 1 to it really did change the numerator but it also changed the float value. Cool. So now we can have multiple attributes that are all in sync because really functions behind the scene are computing some of them. We just don't know.